Our first guest on this show is a fine example of what a quality business looks like, acts like, and uh, provides in services to a community. Uh, a regular guest on our show uh, provides one of the uh, most uh, a, a powerful automotive publications in our community that uh, many of you read and uh, may not really even recognize as family-owned and operated. It's always an honor and a privilege to have on our show Jack Haskett, owner of Deals and Wheels. Jack, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mitch. You know, one of the things that uh, I love about your publication is it, it, the, the quantity of, uh, and the diversity of the different ads that are in the Deals and Wheels and how easy it is to find. So I'll, I'll let you start a little bit, if you don't mind, with a little bit of the history of Deals and Wheels, how you even came up with the idea to do it. Well, my, my son Steve and I started it 25 years ago, and uh, it grew because of the and number one, it works. And number two, is popularity is being picked up as a place to look for a, uh, a vehicle, car, truck, RV, uh, motorcycle, uh, ATV. Uh, commercial uh, equipment. Open. Pardon me? You have commercial right, equipment. Right, commercial equipment. But it just became so popular that uh, a lot of the businesses start asking us more to leave more there because they would be gone like in two or three days after it came out. So we increased their publication, and it just became more and more popular. We put out 50,000 every two weeks, and our area coverage hit 900 different locations, over 900 different locations, is between Elko and Sacramento and Oregon border and Bishop, California. If you had to approximate the number of uh, different vehicles and items for sale in your publication, what would you, you know, total it up to be in any two-week period? Probably... Oh, a little over a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred. And so, you know, I, I want to share with the, with people when you open up a publication where you have that kind of diversity and selection. Uh, really, what you're doing is you're playing in a larger pool of vehicles when you're out there shopping. You will find out very quickly. Uh, more of the real actual cash value of something by seeing, oh, you know, thousands of them or hundreds of them um, and sitting down in the comfort of your own home and looking at these, you can really start to get a feel for what's out there, what's available and what they're worth. Right. A lot, um, of, pe a lot of people pass on to me that the fact that they are getting ready to buy a car, it's a good place for them to sit down and, and view thousands of vehicles just to uh, get an idea of what their prices are going to be or what... Uh, the selection is going to be, and then they, you know, they visit the various dealers or call the private parties that are advertising their cars in their paper. Uh, and let's talk about that. Uh, one of the things that we offer on our website, thecarbuyeradvisor.com, are instructional videos to help a consumer actually navigate through that purchase process, the pre-purchase inspections, uh, both mechanical and cosmetic uh, to rule out vehicles with prior existing mechanical problems or, you know, prior collision, flood, hail damage, paintwork, et cetera. So we offer that as an educational value on our website for our community. Uh, but one of the things, uh, if you were to, you know, give somebody advice, if they were to pick up a publication and look at something, go, wow, that looks like a really good price, and they make a phone call, what kind of questions uh, do you uh, recommend they start to ask in the in inquiry stage? Well, basically... When you're buying a, a used vehicle, especially you're buying, you know, the, the uh, condition of the vehicle as well as the m number of miles that are left on the vehicle and how much use you're going to be getting out of it. Some some um, people that I, I again has talked to about it is basically they they can do a lot of shopping for a vehicle from the from their chair in their house and then go and visit the vehicle when they find what they're looking for, or maybe one or two or three different vehicles that they want to look at before they make a decision to buy. So, But the, the basic thing is the condition, the mileage, and whether the car has been well cared for, of course. And um, you, you know, some of the things I'd like to add to that is you, you know, you can, you, you said this is so true, uh, that a lot of people get in their car, they'll go on to a lot somewhere, and they'll be shopping in the pool of vehicles that are just there, and there, there may be a couple hundred. Uh, right. Definitely nothing near the quantity uh, that they'll be able to find in your publication. Right. But when they go in, they're shopping in a smaller pool of vehicles. When they sit at their, the comfort of their own home, they have the time to make a list of questions that are important to them, like, has the vehicle been in a collision? Is there any known paintwork to this vehicle? What's the title on the vehicle? Is it clean? Is it free of any brands of any, you know, uh, rebuilt or, or uh, you know, uh, 
um, title brands or is the odometer actual and and you can take the time to ask these questions and you can feel and hear uh, some of the integrity of the people that are telling you this just over the phone and you can rule out a lot of cars that don't make any sense for you to waste your time to go see but shopping in a bigger pool of cars means that you have a higher probability of finding a, a really good one. And I, I always, we, we have a video on our website that talks about uh, playing in the largest pool that you can um, and having the largest selection to begin with and shopping from the comfort of your own home and having a you know, more educated, prepared, informed decision. Then going out and looking at these vehicles and always we endorse the process of having a pre-purchase inspection before you buy anything by a, a professional shop and you can find those again on our website uh, jack i also you know we have a couple of page spread in there and i don't think i've ever mentioned this in our interviews before of some of these preferred businesses uh, there's about 24 of them we have a two-page spread where you know people can find the top businesses in our community and each uh, publication every two weeks we feature a couple of those businesses on the top of uh, of each of those pages so that people can get to know the uh, the top businesses in our community and and you definitely have a uh, quite a number of those in your publication as well yeah thank you uh, so uh, a little bit again uh, you uh, I think uh, have a program on Saturdays where um, people that go to sell their car uh, a lot of times the first thing they get is frustrated um, because it, it, it can be cumbersome to go on some of these websites and try to list their vehicle. And you take that effort out of it for them. So if you will share what goes on on Saturdays and how they can list a car with ease with you. Right. Well, uh, our biggest uh, um, day of picture taking is, uh, is on Saturday, and we go around to different locations that are listed in our paper of where we take the picture. People bring the car to us with the description that they want to put with the car. But we have a location south of town where they can come at the car wash, uh, Terrible Car Wash on uh, South Virginia, between 1 and 1.30, and we'll give them a free car wash, and it'll really look nice before we take the picture. Uh, what we found is a lot of people, it takes it probably 15, 20 minutes at the most to do it, but they, they get a chance to meet the person that's actually publishing the car for them, Instead of putting it online, you never know. You don't know if it's going to, you know, actually make it or not. And what guarantee do you have that it is going to be on there? This way, you know the person's taking the picture, and and you, and you uh, have a, a source to go to. Um, the that basically is the the crust of our paper. As we we uh, make it so um, inexpensive to run an ad for two weeks, it costs us. It costs the customer twenty dollars, and that includes a fifteen-word description and a picture of the vehicle. And to be total, totally honest with you, the picture is what does it. Uh, people will go through there looking at the pictures and look at the description afterwards. So we get a good picture and and a good description of the vehicle. The people have a chance that of picking it up, looking for a private party car or a car uh, in general, have a chance to get. Uh, a feel for what they're looking at. So. Well, and you just said that I, the picture is a thousand words, and uh, you've got guys that, that that's what they do. They they know uh, where to get a, a good look at the vehicle that you know may catch somebody's eye. But they I've also you know witnessed and uh, uh, your guys helping people actually pick decent uh, uh, descriptions to say about the vehicle right. because people always. I think this is the the biggest thing is you get some uh, some folks and they don't sell a car every day. What do I say about it? You know, right. the, what what angle is a good picture? And and the fact is, you said twenty dollars, and and you're getting a car wash out of that too. So your car is clean and it's getting advertised. Right. Uh, but then you've got a gentleman or, or an individual there that's going to take that a good photo angle for you and and can even help you with a little bit of what people want to hear in a publication like that because that's what they do every day. Right. And, and with all these other uh, different services and places that people can list vehicles, they really are up all on their own. And, um, you know, again, the, the idea of uh, some of these uh, services out there where you have to upload your own photos and you have to almost be a computer whiz to just list your car. But the thing is, is what you're doing is you're making people's phones ring. You're selling a lot of vehicles. And I think that's really the, the reason uh, we endorse you as a business. I, I've used your service uh, for you know, well over a decade at uh, various businesses in the community that I've managed, and uh, you've 
sell cars. People read that publication that are shopping for cars. So it's a great place for somebody to list a vehicle. It's also a great place for somebody to find one. Uh, again, what types of things can people list with you? Because I've even seen puppies. Yes. <laughs> we have puppies. We have uh, 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 mining tools, prospecting mining tools. People are going off on the weekend, go out and look for gold. There's a guy that advertises in there on that. Uh, and like you say, we have uh, the puppies. We have cats. We have... Uh, uh, heavy duty equipment, light equipment, uh, snow blowers, um, those uh, lawnmowers, and so forth. And we have uh, ATVs, recreational vehicles, uh, motorhomes, of course, or trailers, uh, fifth wheels, and of course a big selection of cars and trucks because basically that's what our foundation was. But once the people pick up the publication and start looking through there, they find um, they find. Uh, maybe something that they, they've been looking for, but they didn't know where to look. Well, and I'd like to make this caveat. I warn anybody who hasn't seen your publication when they pick it up to be prepared to spend some money because you're going to find something in there you didn't know that you needed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a fun place to look. I can't tell you how many times I've picked that up and it's cost me money because I'm like, oh, I've always wanted one of those. Right. Um, and, you know, you just do a great job for our community. It's, it's a great publication to pick up and read. I know you ask just about anybody that's been in our community for a while. And, and it's a, uh, they rely on the information you provide and the service you provide our community. And thank right. you for doing that. How does somebody get a hold of you if they want to place an ad today uh, with, uh, with their vehicle or their toy? I want to say one, one more thing, uh, Mitch. We have Please. right now a special two items. They don't have to be cars and trucks. They can be anything you want. We'll run two items for the same price. In other words, you get two instead of one. If you have a uh, tractor you want to put in as well as your pickup, there'll be two separate ads, two different pictures, two 15-word uh, descriptions for the same price. And we're doing that right now from now until the end of next month. So when we have also coming up in the next month, uh, the hot August nights, again, comes to Reno, and that is a super big issue of ours. And so... There's a lot of people that have custom cars and custom uh, motorcycles and so forth that are getting ready for August nights that want to sell them because there's a, a, a truly abundance of people that come to uh, to Reno for that celebration. But also, one thing else is we've also found that they don't come in town just to buy the hot rods and the so forth. They look at the other cars that are in there too, and sometimes they'll end up with one that they couldn't find at their hometown where they come from, from Washington, Oregon, or whatever it is. So it's, it is a big publication. We print a lot, print a lot of extra copies, and we, we just keep our racks uh, as full as possible during that period of time because there's an extra lot of uh, extra lot of people that have come into town for that celebration. And, and thank you for saying that, Jack. I know we've talked about people can take their vehicle to a location for you to photograph even today, for an example, um, at Terribles out on uh, South Virginia and uh, Longley. But uh, you can actually, for the person that may have one of these vehicles that may not be able to, to run, they don't have to necessarily trailer it, um, but you, you can actually arrange to go out and take a picture yes. for them there as well. Yes, we do that too. Yeah. Uh, so, again, how do they get a hold of you to arrange for their vehicle to be listed, especially, you're right, with this new the Hot August Nights publication coming out. If somebody's got a vehicle they want to list with you, how do right. they get a hold of you? They, actually, you can call our 800 number, and I'll give it to you. Uh, it's 1-800-255-4925. That's 800-255-4925. Or the, probably the easiest way is if next time they're in the store or 7-Eleven or, a mini market or whatever to pick up a copy of it and it's all explained for them right inside the publication and they know exactly you know where to go or how to handle it by phone or you actually e email a picture if they have one uh, to us for it and uh, you can also find them on our website as one of our endorsed businesses a quality part of our community quality right. business quality business management right. uh, always an honor to have you on our show well, Jack John, let me yeah. say one more thing Mitch you, you Talk about the tremendous job we're doing. We think you're doing a fantastic job of what you're doing. You're covering a lot of area, you know. Uh, and for people that are interested in a car, if they just uh, adhere to 10% of your advice, they're going to save themselves some money and some trouble and some headaches. So uh, we appreciate you doing what you're doing, too. Uh, you just gave me goosebumps. Thank you so much for that, Jack. I really appreciate it. It means okay. a lot because you're a gentleman that I have a great deal of respect for in our community. So well, thank you for that. Thank you, Mitch. That's Jack Haskett with Deals and Wheels, Photo Ads and Publication in Reno.